A Cochrane man is dead after he was shot by a Bleckley County deputy. Sheriff Harold Lancaster tells us it all started when deputies responded to a call at a home on Oak Street. When the theft suspect resisted arrest, there was a struggle that turned deadly. 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams has the latest. George Wright says what started out as a typical Friday night changed in a flash. Blink of an eye, just, it just happened. He says his brother Rasheen Wright was at his house when someone stopped by accusing him of stealing a bat. George says that's when two deputies arrived and attempted to arrest Rasheen. My brother had the bat and so the police just went to start grabbing him, like putting him in, putting his hands behind his back. He says Rasheen was handcuffed, then there was a struggle. Everyone fell behind the deputy's car. George admits his brother had a record. He says he didn't know if his brother had a gun. But he said things went from bad to worse when he saw the deputy pull his weapon. I'm like pull out his gun and like point it. So like it was like in my direction kind of too. In fear of his own safety, George says he ran. And I just heard the shot and then I looked back and then my brother was like fell back on the, on the ground or whatever. He called his brother's name, but no response. Neighbor Robert Price says he heard the gunshots and ran to the scene. Oh, they sit there and watch the man bleed to death. He, he was bleeding to death and they just sit there and watch him. George says it's an image that will never leave his mind. But I still can see it, like, what happened. Like, it just keep going over and over. Sheriff Lancaster's story is a little different. He says his officers initially tased Rasheen, and when Rasheen pulled a weapon, they used deadly force. He says it's an awful situation all the way around. In Cochran, Jasmine Williams for 41 NBC News. The case has been turned over to the GBI for further investigation, and the officers involved are currently on administrative leave. Sheriff Lancaster says he's standing behind them and supports their decision to use deadly force. Now, we reached out to the Sheriff's Department for any updates, but we haven't heard back.